So Derek is a 56-year-old man who presented with left knee pain that started after he jumped off a trailer last weekend. He was clearing up his mother's backyard and had done a few trailer loads of rubbish to the chip on Saturday. It was when he was at the tip with the final load that he jumped off the trailer onto the hard ground. While he was jumping down, his son called out to him and he turned around to the right to face him. He came down on his legs at an odd angle and instantly felt pain. He's only been able to partially wake there since. Okay, so um, let me give you some more details on the patient that aren't there. So um, Derek is 56. He's married with two kids, one being in year 12. The other one's working as an electrical apprentice. He works as a site manager for local council roadworks. His mother is 80 and she's still alive with no real medical problems. Father passed away in his early 70s from liver cancer. Mm -hmm. He doesn't go to the doctor very much. Last time you saw him was two years ago when he had a work-related hand laceration. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's do, ignore what's on your screen. Let's start from the beginning. Okay. Hi, doctor, my name's Derek. Hi, Derek. Lovely to meet you. What's brought what's you in today? Well, I've got a sore knee. I jumped off the trailer last weekend. Um, I've been cleaning my mum's backyard and, you know, I, I just jumped down on it. It's funny. Um, I just jumped down off the trailer. Uh, a bit funny when I was at the tip. Okay, all right. Um, how, how high off the trailer did you jump? Was it from the top of the trailer or was it just from the, the bottom part of the trailer? Yeah, it would have been from the top of the trailer. Okay, all right. And I need you to try and be as specific as you can about how you landed because that gives us a lot of information oh. about the potential injury. Yeah, well, I was just jumping down. It's rather hard ground. Um, my son yelled out to me um, as I jumped off and so I turned around. I think I turned around to my right. And I just landed funny. And it's been sore ever since then. Okay. So what, what? how long ago was it that this happened, Derek? Oh, I think it happened Saturday, so only a couple of days ago. Okay. So it, it happened a couple of days ago. You jumped off the trailer. You landed and you felt the pain immediately. Is that right? Yeah, yeah definitely. My knee went from underneath me. Okay. All right. So did you fall to the ground at the time? I did, yeah. Mm, okay. And were you able to walk after that? Oh, it hurt. Um, I was able to walk, but man, it hurt. Okay, all right. Um, and since then, has the pain been getting better or worse? Oh, been about the same, really. It's worse if I walk on it. A lot better if I sit down. Okay. Now, often with injuries, you know, have you ever heard of, you know, sort of the rice principle where you do ice and compression and elevation? Did you manage to do any of those things um, when you had the injury happen? Well, I rested. Um, okay, yep. Yeah, I would have put my leg up as well. We've got a lazy boy, so I put my leg up on the lazy boy. And for the ice, mm, oh. Actually, yeah, when I went home, my missus gave me some ice to put on it. What was the other okay, thing good. you mentioned? Um, and just putting a bandage or something on it. To just, it was called nah. compression. Nah. No, nothing like that. Okay, all right. Nah. So um, a couple of other things with the knee. Have you noticed a lot of swelling in it in the last few days? No, strangely enough. I wish it would. Mm. I'm getting sympathy. Okay. All right, and um, uh, you said that the pain um, sort of happened immediately at the time and it's still been painful since then. Have you been taking anything for the pain? Oh, I think my missus gave me some Lucindol, but nothing's really touching it. I think she also tried to give me some Nurofen and that helped a little bit, but not much. Okay, all right. Um, Look, have you had any other injuries with this knee before? None. None that I can remember anyway. And it's a real bugger because I'm really supposed to be at work today. Yeah. The, the, um, so with your work, have you managed to go to work this week so far? No. I've had to take time off and the boss is not very happy. 
Okay, all right. So, so the knee's really all, all causing you quite a lot of problems. Yes, I just want to know what, what's going on with it. Going on, sure. Now, um, we do need to have a bit of a look at the knee, and I understand that um, that there, we've um, we've already had a look at that. Is there some um, results from looking at the yeah. knee? Yeah, so the only thing you're given is that his weight is 96 kilos, his height is 182, and his BMI is 29. Okay. Is there any other examination you would like to do? Yeah, so I would, I'd like to um, do a full knee examination, which would include range of motion, um, swelling, um, and then testing you, the ligaments. Yep, sorry. Can you walk through for me um, what exactly you would want to know? And so I'd be testing if there's any effusion of the knee. There is. So um, there is a patella. The patella tap is negative, but the bulge line is positive. Positive, okay, yep. Um, and then I would want to be checking whether or not um, there's um, any uh, signs of any infections or anything like that, so just general observation of the knee um, for heat and swelling. No, heat and um, knee examination, there's no obvious scars or muscle wasting, there's no skin changes or warmth, the knees look symmetrical, there are no rashes or fixed flexion deformities. Okay, good. And range of motion of the knee? Um, during what sort of range of motion would so, you uh, like to do? do I initially want to do um, an active range of motion. Very good. So um, patient has pain during active flexion and extension of the left lower limb with decreased mm -hmm. flexion. Extension is normal. With sense of normal, okay, good. And um, and then it, with passive range of motion, I'm assuming that flexion would still be decreased? Yes. Okay, um, then I'd want to check for um, ligament laxity of um, the lateral ligaments, ACL and PCL. They are all normal. They're all, they're all normal, okay. Um, yep. And then um, joint line, I'd want to be checking on the joint line if there's any tenderness. Okay, there is no patella tenderness, but there is medial joint tenderness on the left. There is no tenderness at the insertion of the patella tendon. Mm -hmm. Okay, and along the MCL? Um, along the MCL, there is no tenderness. Okay, so it's just a meniscus. Okay, all right. Um, so I'm going to go back to talking to Derek again. So, so is there any um, other examination you would like to do? Oh, uh, other examination. Mm. You're going along the right point. Is he weight bearing? I guess he, that, that's general just gait and stuff like that. He but, um, does have a limp. You're missing mm -hmm. two key important in examinations for meniscus. Uh, oh, the grind testing? <laughs> Yay! The grind. So yep. Apley's, Apley's is positive medially yep. on the left. Is mm -hmm. there another one you'd like to do? There's um, Apley's and then there is... I mean, you can feel generally for crepitus. Um, yeah, yeah, there's crepitus. That's okay. We've got a positive athlete. we Yeah. Now. Okay, so can I go back so, to Derek now? Um, go back. Yeah, feel free. I'm worried about running out of time, I suppose. So, yeah, you're right. Um, go for it. <laughs> okay, so... Um, what are you going to do so, now? Well, what, what's wrong with me? All right, so Derek, I'm having a bit of a look at your knee today. I'm um, really reassured that the ligaments all seem like they're intact, which is great. Um, but where you saw is along the, the meniscus, which is a little bit... Have, have you heard about the meniscus or the mm. cartilage in your knee before? Cartilage, yep, I heard that word before. Yep. Okay. Okay, good. So that's basically kind of, I guess, a little bit of a... Um, it helps your knee glide really well. As we get older, sometimes this, this doesn't work as well. Or if we have an injury such as you've had, we can put a little bit of a tear or put some damage in the knee. Um, because you can straighten your knee fully at the moment, um, I'm comfortable that we don't necessarily need to be doing a lot more right at this stage. But what we are going to need you to do is to continue to rest it um, and see if we can get some of the swelling out of it and, and manage your pain so that you can manage a bit better. Mm -hmm. um, I think it might be worth giving you some support around the knee um, and we can do that with um, sort of a, a nice firm bandage or we could look at potentially giving you a, a brace. Mm -hmm. um, if the pain doesn't start to settle down um, and start to improve over the next week or so, I think it might be worth um, going the next step and having a look whether or not how serious the damage is to the meniscus. 
mm-hmm. and whether or not we would do that potentially by doing an MRI. Mm-hmm. Now, um, do you do you do any sports in which you know your knees under um, specific? No, uh, but just yeah. every day, like, mm-hmm. how am I going to work? Mm. Well, can I so it work? is quite difficult when you when you injure yourself as far as your work is concerned, and um, I think it is going to be important to to try and to try and rest your knee. Um, is there some other options as far as things you can do at work, which mean you could still rest your knee? Mm. Um, oh, I guess so. I also ain't going to be real happy about it, though. No. Is there anything we um, can do to kind of speed it up so that I can get better faster? Look, as I mentioned, you know, doing the, the supportive things, um, giving it some bandaging, using, continuing to use some ice and using some pain relief, and yeah. as well as some anti-inflammatories might help. Um, yeah. Resting it is going to help you get better faster, um, and okay. also seeing a physio. Yay! Yay. Uh, well done. It goes so fast, doesn't it? It does. Uh, I didn't even get to talking to the examiner about the issues, but anyway. That's okay. Mm. No, well done. So um, let me just go back. So this was a hard one because normally it's. Um, I really wanted to put a an examination case into this because you will get one, and yeah. most likely it's going to be knee, shoulder, or thyroid. Um, and so it's so much easier when you're in that zone and you're just doing your examination. It's so much harder to talk about it over the phone, which is why I yeah, and ask you the questions. Yeah, the app is getting the cutter of how you normally do it. Yeah. Yeah, you would have done them normally. And I knew that you would have done them because I go, she knows what it is. I oh, know. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, athletes in McMurray. Don't forget yeah. to, when you ask to examine a patient, walk in, wash your hands. I didn't really ask you to examine the patient because of the case. Um, yeah. Now, um, yeah, you covered the main points, which was do we need an MRI? Um, light duty, you discover you cover rest analgesia, um, the fact that you know it's gonna you're not gonna be able to do his normal duty, physio, you've done education, other things if you had time and don't get stressed about the fact that there's gonna be more things than you can cover because it's mm-hmm. just they're trying to isolate fantastic, you know. They're trying to isolate, you know, the the top students. Um, if you know your MRI criteria um, that's mm-hmm. fantastic. That was bonus points, so he doesn't actually fit MRI criteria because he's got no um, extension issues. Um, weight loss reduction, opportunistic screening were the only other two points mm-hmm. I had. But yeah, yeah no, I, had, I had general checkup written for down the bottom, but obviously I was re- re- out of time. So. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You wouldn't pass that. Like you knew what you were doing. It was just a bit of an artificial scenario doing it over the phone. Mm, yeah, and just it's just remembering that time thing, I suppose. Yes. Um, oh, absolutely. And just practice. But you know all the stuff, and that's it. You know the stuff. It's just then putting it into to practice. So, no, well done. Yeah, I would pass you. Mm, good, that's good. Thanks. 